Tune in tonight for a special look into my new book, Pages Out of My Journal, tonight after this amazing episode of All About Mike. Previously on All About Mike. Hey, what's up? I'm Mike G. Riggins. I kind of got, like, a job offer in L.A. Do you think we would, like, survive as a couple in L.A.? Why wouldn't we? Do we do a long distance relationship or do we break up? This year I'm working on a book, actually, pages out of my journal. I want to do a virtual book release party. I want you to host it. If I don't go, what does this mean for our relationship? I'm still up and down as far as moving to LA. Would you, would you do an open relationship? An open relationship? It's not going to work. So today I'm catching up with my good little Judy Warren. I just wanted to touch bases so we can finalize this um, virtual book event, right? That you're hosting, right? Something's not right. Relationship over. I cannot do this. You, you're cheating. Mm -hmm. I didn't cheat. What are you talking about now? You're always talking about I'm cheating. I said I got proof. Well, where's the proof? Pull the headphone out. What is this? First, I have a secret, but I'm going to tell you that another day. Something. I will do, but I'm not good. No secrets. You know, I don't like secrets. Well, I've been trying. Well, it's been something that's been brewing for months, and it finally happened. And so today is the day I'm leaving, headed to the airport um, to go to DC um, for a couple days just to unwind and relax. I'm going to DC just to go, just to see my family, my friends again, just to receive the love that I haven't received physically from them in a long time because I've been gone for a while since I moved to Atlanta. So I just touched down in East B. I'm going to actually stay in a hotel downtown so it's more convenient for me to see whoever I want to see. Um, I'm going to, you know, call my friend Carlos, see if we want to meet up. Hey you, what you up to? Oh. Carlos is just like Warren. They both always come through for me no matter what. So, I'm in DC for a couple days. I said I'm in DC for a couple days. We should hang out. You busy? Tomorrow you free? So I'm gonna to reach out to him, see if he wanna meet up at like the harbor or something, just to hang out, catch up, see what's been going on. Anything planned? No, Let's plan something for Friday. We should be at the harbor, like talk, get something to eat, catch up. Cause I haven't been home in like a year, so. So I'ma um send you all the deets, like the time and stuff, and we'll meet up if you're free. Okay. Cause you know you're so busy and booked. Um, all right. So I'll hit you. Closer to the date, and we can um, meet up and catch up and stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. So I just touched down in DC. I'm going to, you know, call my friend Carlos. See if we want to meet up. First, you was a Atlanta boy. Now you' about to be a LA boy. Like. Tune in tonight for a special look into my new book, Pages Out of My Journal, tonight after this amazing episode of All About Mike. Okay, so What's this thing on? You ready? Go! You start first. Do you have to speak to me like that? Hello everyone, I am Mike G. Riggins. And I'm Terrell Brown. And we're coming to you this December with our new podcast entitled Truth Be Told. And the truth be told is this is about to be one of the best podcasts ever. We're talking about life. Life. Food. Food. Drama, maybe. A little bit. <laughs> Finances. Mental health. A little sex here and there. Just some of everything we're going to touch on. So you guys tune in this December to Truth Be Told by Mike and Terrell. It's gonna to be on 
Apple Podcasts, it's going to be on Spotify, and it's going to be on YouTube Live, so you guys get to see us as well as hear us. Yeah, LA though, with LA, like LA was always in the works for me, but I was like kind of scared. Even with the process of us moving, I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna go. So we were like, well, is it gonna work? If you go to LA and I'm in Atlanta, how's this relationship gonna work? And it was like, I don't know. But I was more so scared because I wanted to make sure that everything was in line as far as like transferring jobs. But I was kind of scared though. I was like up and down every day. He was like, you're so back and forth, you're so back and forth, because I didn't know if I wanted to go, if I wanted to stay. And then it was like, Days were like going, going, going to where it got so close to where like, okay, now all my stuff is shipped there. So I was like, okay, I gotta go. But then once everything fell in line, my mind was at ease and ready to go. Um, Carlos, whatever I want to do, I can, I'll do. He doesn't really mind. Um, he doesn't really say anything. As long as things are in order and like I'm safe and I'm good, he good. So he didn't really mind. He knew. He knows me. He knows I'm a free for all. I'm a free baller. So. So, with all of that been, what about radio? Like or- Radio, I did not do radio in Atlanta, although I did have like a, a studio that I could have went to and stuff, but something happened, I didn't do it, then COVID happened, I couldn't do it. And now, like I said, we're moving. So, I want to continue it in um, LA, but we'll see. I love radio. Radio is cool, you know. But being here, it left a little sour taste in my mouth because how things played out, how things ended with radio here and Joey and the other guys and behind the scenes stuff as usual yeah, when you work with a bunch of gays, so. Well, to keep it cute for this radio show and out of respect for my good friend, the radio show ended because of behind the scenes things. It wasn't drama or nothing like that. It was just some things behind the scenes that could not, you know, come together. And I thought that I wasn't going to carry it at all. So we just decided to end the show. We have a date for the virtual book tour. I mean, the virtual book event and everything. I just haven't put nothing out yet. Like, I still be working from my phone. I'm supposed to be here just relaxing. So we'll see. We'll see. Keep me posted or whatever. I can do promo, you know, whatever. Be a good friend. And okay, be a me. good friend. Let show me. up like the other friend didn't do okay but i've always no you always okay, came through so, yeah that's what i'm saying when you call me like i need you to be here all right whatever i got all to my schedule i'm, I'm there for mikey being back in dc it's 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 great um it feels like home but i also feel like i've outgrown it just because i've been away for so long but yeah i don't i don't when i was flying i was like oh, dc i don't know i wouldn't come back i wouldn't move back though Cause I feel like a failure. Like if I come back, I'm like, oh, he came back, he couldn't even make it. F- you, cause I done made it Atlanta, now I'm making it to LA. But I'm not coming back to DC. That's what it is. You gotta do what's best for you, man. Just because some people move back don't necessarily mean failure, man. I know, but uh, uh-uh. you know, people like to jump to conclusions, but okay. And then I gotta think, like it's not just me anymore. Right. Like we're a year in. Like we're a year in. Gosh. We're a year in. Like everything. Gosh, like that time, like that is crazy. It hasn't been easy. Oh, I know. I've been, but we're here. I've had my little share of phone it. calls and texts and be like, oh, we okay, it. sir, I'm gonna need you to get it together. And like, he did. All right. Real fast. But yeah, we're um, we're good though. But I don't know. I'm so hungry. I'm always hungry. Right. That's why I don't gain so much weight. I don't care though. That's that relationship weight. Shit. Relationship weight. Shit. That's that COVID in the house for three months. Wait. Okay, well that too. All of that plays a part. But yeah, so. Next time on All About Mike. So today is the official day for my virtual book event. And a little mishap. Cut my ear. Your phone code. 
Here's a special look into my new book, Pages Out My Journal, releasing this January. So Pages Out of My Journal is like a prelude to my first book, which came out in 2015, which is um, Reflections of Me. And Reflections of Me was basically Reflections of Me, um, who I am, who I was, why I am the way I was, and dating and again trying to find my father and growing up this way and that way and being gay and coming out being gay and insecurities and attempted suicide all that good stuff so it's all about me just releasing everything that came out in 2015 and in 2017 18 i released the circle of my confusion which is a book about five gay guys living their life party and having fun one is married the other one is a scammer you know that whole lifestyle that comes with our community so I wrote about it, talked about it. It was a good book. You should check both books out, Reflections of Me and The Circle of Confusion, both on Amazon.com right now. So back to Pages Out of My Journal. Pages Out of My Journal came about because I always wrote my feelings down. Even though I say what I want to say, I still write certain things because I'll hold some stuff in. Because sometimes I do care about certain people and their feelings. So I'll write stuff down and just hold it and store it. So I put a collection of writings together. Um... My trip to Atlanta, which was the reason why I moved to Atlanta in August of 2019. So I visited Atlanta and I fell in love with it. And I thought that, you know, it would give me the resources that I need for creating my, my shows, my radio show and more books. So I went, I stayed for a year, met this guy, I fell in love and been with him ever since. So I stayed in Atlanta for a year and then I ended up moving to LA which in between that time was a struggle because I didn't know if I wanted to go if I wanted to stay if it was for me or was I just following him and all that so and me trying to tell my gay father um Curtis about me moving because he didn't know it's like the last two days of me leaving and we talked every day hey I'm, I'm so, gonna be on the way so Sunday as in this coming Sunday yeah because so that was kind of hard which all that would play out on it's all about Mike also dating oh my gosh dating in our community dating or lack thereof um most of the time we don't even date we just meet someone and <laughs> jump right into it and become you know a couple speaking from experience so we don't really get to date like go out do stuff get get a feel of each other the energy the vibe and see if we really mesh um so and it's hard to date in our community because you meet someone and they pretend to be one way then when you date them they're another way so it's like it doesn't really work out and it's just a mess like it's a mess so dating can be very hard in the gay community um so yeah um and also after dating is can gay relationships last um speaking from experience yes but you have to communicate you have to be honest you have to be trusting and you just have to be real and authentic from day one if you don't have those things it's not going to work so you can't be with this person and that person, that person, that person, but you're in a relationship with that person. It does not work. I mean, it may work for some, but it does not work for me. Uh, would you Would you do an open relationship? I don't know. Um, I do strongly feel feel that gay relationships can last because mine has, and I'm an advocate of black love, black gay love. Um, another chapter. I'm gonna ramble on really fast because I don't wanna make this video long and drawn out. So another video, another um, chapter is hurt feelings. Hurt feelings is something that we often feel. Um, someone says something to you that hurts your feelings or you, you going through a breakup or financial struggle. Your feelings are hurt. So you're trying to overcome that the best way you can. Some move on to this, some move on to that. Some build themselves up on how you decide to get over it. Um, another one is infatuated with a thought. Oh my God, that's like one of my favorites because it's like, you meet someone but you're infatuated with that image and that thought of who they are and then when you get to know them you realize they're not who you had in your mind for them to be because you created this image off this infatuation phase and it turned out to be real and you couldn't handle the real so you know yeah i don't talk anymore y'all broke up whatever have you however it happens um elusive love is like trying to find love and want to be loved and who doesn't want to be loved who does not want to be loved like some of us don't know how to love some of us overly love and some of us give it here and there i'm the type i overly love and i want it back like i don't ask nothing of you that i cannot give you so 
elusive love another favorite of mine um the lonely feeling missing love oh my gosh this is a child this is a chapter when i talked about being in a relationship and you still feel lonely and you still feel like you're missing the love like something is missing so you're like in a relationship but you feel like you're by yourself like you're laying next to this person the bed still feels empty you're hugging this person you still feel like you're just holding yourself so it's like you're you're missing love something is missing you're missing love and it may not be because of you it could be because they just don't know how to give it or something may be going on with them personally to where they can't give it right now so just like i said go back to communication um another chapter is unappreciated my fault and i say my fault because i allowed you to treat me in a way to where i'm not appreciated because I accepted certain things instead of shutting it down in the beginning. Um, and certain things that you're doing is unappreciated. Like, you don't appreciate the things that I do. Like, I cook, I clean, I wash the house, I, I wash the clothes, I clean the house, I do this, I do that. And it's unappreciated. And it's my fault because I allowed it. So that's another one of my favorites. Um, the secretive jealous best friend. Now, this one is a little touchy because... When this person read it, they'll know it's about them, which I don't care. It's my story. It's my truth. I'm going to tell it. Um, you have to move in silence. And I say that because you tell people your dreams and your goals and they're like, oh, yeah, you can do it, this and this and this. And then when you actually do it or you stumble, they'll try to go behind you and take your ideas and put them out first without even fully executing it properly. Um, you tell them certain things and they're like, oh, yeah, you can do it. And then when you're doing it. The whole attitude and the whole cheering changes. And then you look and you see on their Instagram or they're putting out a t-shirt or they're putting out a book or they're trying to do a show. And it was like, when did this happen? And, and you know, you never said that you wanted to do this stuff. So the secrets of jealous best friend and it's secretive because they don't tell you that they're jealous. Their actions show it or you hear it from someone else and they're whispering and this person ear, this person ear and it gets back to you. So it's like a secretive jealous best friend. Um, like I said, I'm jumping around, just touching on certain topics. Um, the book isn't that big, actually. Um, it's about mm, 70 to 90 pages. I kept it short and simple just to give you guys something to hold you off until possibly the show comes out or a bigger book comes out. Um, so, yeah, it's very thin. It's a it's a quick read. I know people don't really have time. It's 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 a pandemic, but it's still people just don't have time. And I get it. That's why I, I kept it short and simple for you. So the last thing in the book is called release. Release is when you just finally let it all go. Come to an understanding of I accept certain things, but I don't accept certain things and I'm going to change what I don't accept. So just release. However you choose to release, it could be jogging, hiking, swimming, traveling, having sex for some people. I mean, that's just some people release. Writing, singing, dancing, whatever your release is to help you get better and be better mentally, physically, emotionally do it release if you want to talk 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 until you get dehydrated but release so that's just a few you know standout chapters in my book that i wanted to talk about always going to be something from mike g riggins to you you can also follow me on instagram and twitter at mike g riggins see you guys thank you be sure to cop the book pages out of my journal